One of the most common things I get asked is how do I give access to my Google Analytics? I get it from business owners, I get it from SEOs, I get it from agency owners. So therefore we created this SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, showing you exactly how to do that. And that's what we're gonna show you in today's video. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, if you don't have it, I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't have it, go over to freesops.com. You're gonna sign up for my free SOP system. What is my free SOP system? Well, it's a, a collection of over 200 SOPs to help you run a successful digital agency. Everything from pay-per-click to SEO to social media, hiring, firing, and vetting VAs. Once you do that, you can come over here, you get a 30-day free trial. Try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it, cancel it. But the thing is, it has not only the SOPs inside of it, not only can you duplicate the SOP, edit the SOP, add in your own videos if you want, your own instructions and clarify things. You can also, you have a free ebook in there, you have the free document and the slideshow. So the whole thing is set up to be best for your VAs. That way you can literally give them the SOP, hand it off, and they can follow the steps without any confusion whatsoever. I use it in my agency, and it's one of the main reasons I developed it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna be granting access to Google Analytics. Very important, one of the questions I get asked most of the time by agencies and business owners, how do I do this without giving someone my login information? That's the goal of this SOP. Expect a result, they're gonna be able to log in without having to have your login information, and they'll be able to see your Google Analytics. To perform this, you're gonna to have to have admin rights to that specific Google Analytics account. If you have that, you will be all set. The importance of this is you can be able to share data without giving your login information. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how to do this live. So first things first, go to Google Analytics. I'm gonna open that up. Once we have Google Analytics open, we're going to locate the property. Make sure you're in the right property because you want to grant the correct access to the correct property to the correct person, right? We know we're in the right where we know we're in the right area. I'm in the right account. Now, once I know I'm in the right account, I can simply click over here and you're going to find properties underneath admin a little cogwheel on the left hand side you're going to make sure you select the right property once we have the right property you'll see admin and user we'll click on access management All right a little plus sign top right hand side i'm the administrator of this account so you go to the plus side of this account top right hand side you can add a user you can add user groups as well but in this case we're just going to be adding a user so there's administration, they got full control, got editor, they can edit the data and the settings, got an analytics, they create and edit shared assets, dashboards of the property and a viewer. I generally will tell you, never, ever, ever, ever give someone administration rights um, unless you must give it to them or give it to them for a period of time. You generally give them um, editor rights because if you just give them editor, they can't manage the users, they can't delete people, right? If you give them administrator rights, they can delete you off the property and you don't want that to take place. Once you do this, let's say we give them administrator rights, we give them editor rights, whatever we're gonna give them, we give that to them. Once we hit editor or administrator, we simply click add. Once we click add, you're gonna see it pop up in the access management and we are done. Now, like I was just showing you inside of the Google Analytics, the user accounts, you generally have the ability to edit, collaborate, manage users, read and analyze. So um, you're gonna grant them once again access by going to Google Analytics, then you go to top menu, make sure you're in the right account and click admin on the left hand side in the little cog wheel. Then you're gonna click property access management. Select that, make sure it's selected. Make sure you're in the right property. You don't want to give someone access to the wrong property. Then you're going to go to the top of the page and hit the plus button. It's blue. Um, once you click on it, you're going to get an option to add users. 
use the email address to add them. Just make sure you don't give someone admin rights because if you give them admin rights, then that's gonna be a bad thing, okay? Um, you don't wanna give someone admin rights whatsoever unless they must absolutely have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video in which we went over how to grant access to Google Analytics. If you would like this SOP as well as many other SOPs, go to freesops.com and get free 30-day access to all of my SOPs. I have over 200 already in there. These SOPs are built so you can run a successful digital agency. Everything from pay-per-click to SEO to how to hire fire VAs, sourcing VAs, and training them to do the very basics so you can run your business and not have to be in your business all the time. Once again, I hope you had a great time and be blessed. Until next time, have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners. And hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shout fuck the SEO guys. White hat, SEO doesn't make sense, going with the goody goodies. Up in heaven, dressed in white, I like black tins, I like black hoodies. Fake SEOs up there, probably.